Hello, everybody. My name is Ira Fay, and I am so excited to share this amazing game with you. And I also, before I get into it, want to alert everyone that there is going to be a live War of the Ring tournament, an in-person tournament, part, as part of the World Series of Board Gaming in Las Vegas in September. So if that is something that appeals to you, the stakes are pretty high. There are cash prizes for winning and the entry fee is quite high. But if you would like, there is, I, I was given a discount code that I could share with you all, and that is Gandalf, capital G, and it gets you $20 off your ticket. So if you want your entry fee, so if you want to participate in that War of the Ring tournament, I think they're going to give me some discount if a bunch of people sign up using the Gandalf code. I don't know. I'm not even sure that I'm going to be able to go. Uh, but I do think it's cool that there's a War of the Ring tournament as part of the World Series of Board Gaming. So uh, check it out if you're interested. I'll include a link to it in the description of the video. So let's, and that's real. That That is actually a real thing that is happening. Uh, but But this video, for anybody coming to it later, please note the date on which it was released. Um, and, uh, but I'm excited to show it to you because it's amazing. So, uh, this was a game that I played with Strider 656 and we were talking in voice chat. So, uh, I'll walk through what was, what was happening. So, um, you can see that I was playing Shadow and, uh, he was playing Free People and he got this, I, I allocated one eye and rolled two more and got this, you know, kind of mediocre start, but at least two musters so I can get Saruman. And he got this incredible roll of, um, you know, two wills, a palantir and uh, a character. So he can, and because he got, we proved the swifter, he can crown Aragorn turn one and still move without even giving me a ring. And he has fear fire foes. So a lot of good things. So, um, so he starts off with, uh, he starts off with a movement here and I don't know, maybe it would be better to, uh, if, if he's going to do the strider separate to Moria and then we prove the swifter, maybe better to do that before moving, but I don't know, maybe he's waiting to see what happens in any case he moves and, uh, and I hit him and get a two reveal. So, you know, not, great for him, but you know, okay. Uh, he reveals into Fords and then loses Gandalf. That makes sense. And then, uh, I, Oh, right. Sorry. I didn't even show my card. So I have lure of the ring. So normally I would not, you know, I, I wouldn't play this, but the corruption value, like this is probably worth on average two corruption. Um, you know, a, a little less than two corruption, but that's not bad. Uh, He'll probably just lose a companion, but uh, that's okay. And if I get Strider, then, you know, then he has a tough choice. So, and I do get Strider. So, so I get Strider and clearly like his plan is, I think probably we prove, you know, separate, we prove the Swifter crown Aragorn turn one. Um, or I don't know, maybe he could hide and just move more times, but it's more fun to get Aragorn. Anyway, uh, he takes the three corruption because, you know. I, I don't think it's worth losing Strider. Obviously, it's not great for the fellowship, but what can you do? So, um, so he takes his three corruption, and that's a pretty effective lure of the ring. Uh, Strider's like, "Give it to me, Frodo," uh, and then he's like, "See you later. I'm going." <laughs> so Strider leaves right away, and uh, and brings Boromir. And okay, so now Legless is guide. I muster Isengard. Uh, he plays, we prove the Swifter, and this is a way that on turn one, with only spending one die to separate and one die to move, he can get Aragorn turn one. So it's a very, you know, relatively efficient way of getting Aragorn. I move armies into Gorgoroth. I'm like, well, I guess I'll prepare to attack Minas Tirith. I don't want him building up forever in there. And, uh, and then he gets Aragorn turn one and I get Saruman. So, um, you know, not the best for the fellowship, but really nice to get um, Aragorn turn one and my military is very slow start. So, um, so he draws mirror of Galadriel, which is nice if you're looking to get Gandalf and Dane, which is, could be good. I get Morgul wound and the fellowship is revealed right now and new powers rising, which is excellent. So, so that's good. And I allocate one eye and I get this ridiculous roll of four Palantirs. 
and no musters. So this is not, I mean, in some ways it's good because at least I have Saruman, so I can play this. And I can play Orcs for Multiplying again, which is reasonable. Um, and he gets this horrible roll. So, you know, so what can you do? Sometimes you get horrible roll. Now, he does have Mirror of Galadriel. So, and he does have Fear Fire Foes. So he could get Gandalf. Anyway, well, let's see. So he passes, and now, and what do you do as me? So he, he's passed, and, um, you know, at this point, I'm like, well, Morgul Wound is good, but he he got, he did no, he has no um, character dice, so I'm not in a particular rush to play it. I mean, I could, but I, you know, I don't need to, I don't think. Um, so, so I just move armies and I'm just going to like try and take over Gondor before he goes too crazy. Now he could. All right. And then, right. So at this point I'm like, okay, my military is going slow. I didn't get the musters I need. I don't even like, I can't even besiege these guys. Uh, I, I can't even get Sar Sar uh, Sauron to war. I'm going to try, um, corruption. So I'm going to try, uh, drawing a character card. And I get Palantir of Orthanc. So this is, you know, when you're showing a whole bunch of Palantirs, uh, that's pretty good. So now, as him, do you... So one option, I think, is use these... You know, maybe he can play Dane, whatever. Um, or he can use these Palantirs to muster Gondor towards war. Oh, and Gondor should be active, by the way. Um, to Because of Boromir and... Aragorn. Anyway, to he could muster Gondor towards war, and then he could just start mustering up in Gondor. That's an option. Now, another option, which I think is pretty reasonable, particularly if he's going the military route and he wants to get more dice sooner, um, he can use a ring to get um, to turn one of these dice into a character die, then use a Palantir with Mirror of Galadriel to... Um, basically to be able to get Gandalf turn two because I have Saruman. So think, would you, would you muster up Gondor or would you use a ring to get Gandalf turn two? So I don't know exactly what's best. He um, turned a Palantir into a character die. And then, um, so that was his use of the ring, but he doesn't have to spend that die right away. Instead, he uses the Palantir die, this other Palantir die, to play Mirror of Galadriel and turn this into the Will of the West. So, you know, he's not giving me a, like, a, he's going to play Fear Fire Foes, and he's not even giving me um, the Witch King turn two because I, I don't have any musters. So even with this ring, I can't get the Witch King turn two even after he plays Fear Fire Foes or if he gets Gondor to War. So, I, you know, this is, I think, pretty good. Um, for him. And then, um, I use a Palantir and I could have used a character die, but I used a Palantir to play Palantir of Orthanc because he has this will of the West. Clearly he's getting Gandalf. So I don't know, but I didn't want to tempt him too much, um, to get rid of my Palantir. Maybe, I, maybe I should have just used the character die, but, um, I play Palantir of Orthanc. And, um, and then he doesn't get rid of it because he's earned this. He wants to get Gandalf. So he, he's going to let me draw two cards, but he gets Gandalf. So Gandalf has now shown up in Grey Havens. I'm like, okay, clearly something is coming. Either um, Book of Mazarbal or Fear Fire Foes. He's going to have this crazy military game, turn one Aragorn, turn two Gandalf. And I don't even have the Witch King yet. So um, so I go ahead and play Morgul Wound. And you know when you see the Fellowship players start to go for military, you can kind of maybe ease off on um, corruption. So I don't know, maybe this is unwise to do it. I wanted to get it in while they were at three. And if I can completely stop the fellowship, then, you know, I, I don't know. It, it, maybe this is overkill on the fellowship, but all right. In any case, I keep drawing character cards. So I get to redraw with Palantir of Orthanc and, um, and I redraw Candles of Corpses. So, um, this is, you know, pretty good. I can keep doing more corruption damage. He plays Fear Fire Foes, brings the North all the way to war. Um, and then I go ahead and play Candles of Corpses. Cause I'm like, let's go for it. See what happens. Uh, and I get two hits, you know, expect about one and a half and I get two. And, uh, and I redraw another character card because it's going so well. Uh, and I redraw Isildur's Bane. 
So, you know, the hunt pool, it's, you know, pr like basically unused. There's been one, two that's pulled from it. I could get these threes and he's getting pretty high in corruption. I mean, he's up to seven. So, um, you know, so that's good. All right. So now he musters in Dale. Like this is perfectly good. Um, getting, getting north to war. I mean, he can take out my, you know, he, he, the bigger the army is in the north, like they can go after something. So, um, that's reasonable. And then I do something that's a little, a little questionable, but I use a ring. I use the ring to turn the character into a Palantir so I can get an extra draw. So I play Isildur's and then I get a three. <laughs> so now on turn two, he is up to 10 corruption, 10 corruption on turn two. And I redraw foul thing, foul thing from the deep. So what can he do? He has already used a Elven Ring this turn, so he can't do anything to get rid of the um, to get rid of the Palantir. That's why he's had to just sit through this. Uh, and he musters again in Dale because what else can he do? And then with my last die, I play Foul Thing, and if I get a three and then draw a Hobbit. He can't, he has to take it as a random companion and then take the rest as, um, as corruption. So, um, so I draw my tile, I get a three and then I get Mary and that 12 corruption. So, um, that was an incredible game. <laughs> Turn to corruption victory. Thank you very much to Strider656 for being willing to um, play this game with me. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. So uh, it was fun for me to get to um, play this. And uh, I will be back with more of my tournament games. The War of the Ring uh, annual tournament, uh, online tournament is actually going on. And uh, I will be uh, trying to cover those games and share with you my games so you can enjoy that. And uh, though this game might have, that I showed you just now might have been a little um, strange and lucky, uh, I, I did, uh, the thing that I said before about the um, in-person tournament was real. So uh, if you want to participate in a live uh, War of the Ring tournament uh, in Las Vegas during the World Series of Board Gaming, I encourage you to check it out. Link in the description below. Uh, hope you have a good rest of the day.